hey guys so first of all let me just say like i'm sorry i haven't been posting i've wanted to be posting i've just been hanging out with friends and stuff so i haven't really found like much time um but i do plan on posting more and i think i'll just like set a scheduled like day or two a week that i'll post and let you guys know what that day will be but i'm really really excited to be like back posting and stuff um for today's video i'm actually gonna review the new morphe palette I think this is called, <laughs> I think this is called the 25L, I'm not too sure, um, I'm pretty sure it's called the 25L, cause like, my mom, she threw away like the, the outer packaging of it, which was pretty, but I really always throw it away myself, so I guess she was just like, well let me do it for her, so yeah, but um, this is what the inside of the palette looks like, it's $20 and it's for like Pride Month, so I really love that. And um, I think the proceeds, like a percentage of them, go to a really good cause, which is really great too. Um, it's really, really pretty, really colorful. I'm going to insert like some swatches right here too. And then I'm going to give you like some thoughts on the swatches and everything. So So what you guys saw from those swatches, like from what you guys saw, I'm pretty sure that you could tell like it's a really, really pretty palette. I think it's definitely well worth the $20. I've used the palette like twice now. This will be my third time. I've used, um, what shades have I used? I've used like that pink in the middle because I was in love with it. As soon as I seen it, I was like, I need to use this. Um, I've used some of these purples up here, like, well, this purple, and I used these pinks, and then I used, I didn't use that red, but I'm really excited to, and then I used, um, if you guys are wondering, like, why I'm looking straight, it's because, like, there's a mirror right here, but, um, I also used these, not these yet, these are what I'm probably going to use today, um, because I was playing around with them earlier and I was because I was kind of trying to figure out like what I want to do for today's video and I'm between like using these and I'm using like these but I think I want to use like the teal and like the Tiffany blue so I think that's what we're gonna do today um and yeah I've used like a couple shades from the palette the only thing I could also say is that the shimmers like these this one this one this one and that one are more like on the really really sheer side so I would definitely just use them as like a topper over your shimmer because they're not metallic they're really glittery like I could literally take this shade right here and just put it like that and it would dead behind be like a highlighter like you see that so I definitely think that you should really really like most definitely use these over a matte shadow or over a metallic lid because it'll add like a really pretty you know shine to it but yeah i wouldn't use it on its own um unless that's what you're into so yeah i'm really really excited to use this and then i think that for the face makeup i want to review like the new juvia line so like the new foundation the new concealer i have the um powder still packaged up over there because it just came like two days ago and so i think i'll do so i'll do like a review like a two-in-one situation and yeah so i'm really really excited for this whole video and let's just get right into it so i've already like prepped and primed my eyes with the age rewind like i did last time um that's usually like what i do like every time the only thing is like i don't know about a cut crease today because the brush that i always use um the morphe one i lost so i don't know maybe i'll try to use a different one or maybe i just won't do a cut crease but i always do a cut crease so i want to do a cut crease or at least a like half cut crease i don't know but we'll just see so let me see okay so i think to start i want to use this y15 brush for Murphy, I always go in with this just because like it's so big and dense for my um, trans transition shade. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Art. And I'm going to pick up my Marc Jacobs mirror so that I can not have like a big behind thing. Like that thing is bigger than my face and I don't want that like all up in the way. But I think I'll just do this eye on camera and then this one off camera. So yeah. I'm just going to buff this into the crease. Of 
going back and building it up. So I just build that up to where I want it to be. It didn't take much. Like I know it, I said it swatched kind of like in, eh, but it built up pretty good. Um, that's like so pretty. So after that, I'm going to use a shade called called parade that's the teal shade right here um and i'm gonna use this brush from luxie it's a 207t and what i love this brush for is anytime i want to do like an outer corner um shade i'll just stencil it and i'll kind of meet it where my brow ends do you know what i mean so i'll like place it right here like right there and I love it because it does the work for you. Like this brush is just like great. Like you just, because of the way that it's like shaped, it just like boop, it just does it. So I love, 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 love this. So I just kind of like stencil it out, kind of like, like that, flick it. Then I keep going back in. And I don't really know how far in I want to put this shade. Maybe like right here. So yeah, I'm definitely going to pack with a different brush though, because it's just not, no, no, no. So let me go find a different brush. Okay, so I'm going to use this little mini brush right here. This is also a Luxie brush. It's a Luxie 270. Guys, my vision is so bad, and a lot of you that, like, know me and are watching this, y'all, like, already know this, so y'all are just like, yeah, we know. But for anyone that doesn't know, like, if I'm reading something, like a product, it might take a second because my vision is so bad. Like, even with contacts, even with glasses, it's just bad. So I pack that and then I take a small little stencil brush like this. Actually, no. I take this little Morphe teeny teeny tiny so cute brush. This is a Morphe M506. Go into that same parade shade and I'm going to drag it down into the crease because I think I will cut it or attempt to cut it with a different brush. I hate it when it happens but it always happens I have to go back in with that teal shade with that puffy brush right here that art shade go back in and blend it out Okay, so now, finally, <laughs> I'm gonna like speed that all the way up so that you guys don't have to like sit there and be like, oh my god, what's gonna be done? 
So now I'm gonna go and use a cut crease brush. The one that I like the closest to the one that I've always used, which I love, which this doesn't even come close, is the um, ColourPop E3 one. And I'm gonna use the Age Rewind as well to cut my crease. This could go really good or this could go really bad because I'm just so like adapted to like not having to work hard with the one that I always use. So like let's just see how this goes. Let's just see how it goes. Let's just, let's just see how it goes, but so I put it on the lid and then I look up and then I look down and then it shows me where it's gonna peek at. Okay, so that's as good as that's going to get. I'm going to use my little pencil brush to fix it up though, which I always do. Like Even when I use my regular cut grease brush, cut grease, cut crease brush. So let me just look for that. Here it is. So this is my regular cut crease brush. It's the M431. Also, guys, I should have mentioned, they did drop, like, a brush set that came with this whole set, like, this whole collection, I mean, and I didn't get it. I should have got it. Now I kind of want to get it. That guys, so all that you missed while my camera was dead was me applying the shade Make Magic to my lid, and that's basically it, so, yeah. Okay, so now that I have the shade on, it's really, really pretty. I'm going to use Liberation over it right now. It kind of reminds me of, like, scales, you know? So now that we have that going on, maybe let me just see a little bit more. I'm actually really, really loving this idea. Okay, yeah, I love it. So now that I did that, I'm just going to cut my um, shadow like I always do. So I take the a brush that looks like this right here this is a m432 brush to cut my outer corner so i take a little bit right here using the dubious one and then going like that just dragging okay so there we have it I really really like it it definitely doesn't go with what I'm wearing right now like that's for sure but I'm really happy with it and like I still feel like the cut crease could be way better like if I had my actual cut crease brush but I mean I think that this is fine especially once I put lashes on I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna do um, the other eye and then I'm gonna put lashes on off camera probably the same jasmine brown JB ones that I usually do So hey guys, this is what the um, eyes look like without any um, Without any lashes I just thought I should show you what they look like without lashes because I just think you guys should see what like lashes do to look But yeah, this is just without lashes and guys I think that this eye like always just comes out way better like than this one maybe because like I do it on camera this one so I'd be a little nervous I don't know what goes on with that but 
yeah so i'm just gonna go and put the lashes on and then i'll be right back I'll also do inner corner highlight and then do the rest of my face and then do the under eyes and then yeah so i'll be right back hey guys so i'm gonna start off with the primer i think that because the foundation the juvia's one is matte i'm gonna use a more hydrating one because i was gonna use this Too faced one but instead i'm gonna use wherever it is hiding my milk makeup primer so this is just like really hydrating um and i feel like it just like keeps my glow throughout the day and i just kind of like put it all over my face and guys also like if you guys want like a skincare video just let me know because um my skin has been doing really really well lately with what i've been doing to it so if you guys would like to see like what i use like i don't really use it's the only expensive product that i use on my face um is a moisturizer that i use but specifically because i do makeup like so if you don't use makeup then you could use like a different moisturizer you could use lotion if you wanted to you know so guys i think like I don't know, do I get smaller? Because this shirt is, like, really big. I don't know, but anyways. um, <laughs> Yeah, just let me know if that'd be something you guys would be interested in. I worked in. I'm just going to go ahead and go into the foundation. So, the price of the foundation, I think this foundation was, like, oof, like, 15. Let, let me look at it. For, I'm going to actually look it up for a second just so I can let you know and not tell you something wrong. Okay, yeah, the foundation is $20, so that's pretty good, though, because, like, when I show you this foundation, y'all are going to be like, oh, so this is the outer packaging. I actually don't have the outer packaging of the um, concealer because that is not because of my mom. That's just because I literally don't know where it went. I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I really just don't know where it went. Probably threw it away by accident. But I think it looks like the same exact outer packaging as the foundation, which is really, really cute. And this is like a little tube. I think it's a, um, a one ounce, which is like, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I don't typically like buy foundations that are more than like, yeah, like this much money. Um, just because like you have to keep buying it. Like mine that I always use is like either the Fit Me, which is like six or five. And then I use like the Milani one, which is like maybe 10 but yeah um let me just find my beauty blender so yeah i'm just gonna put a little bit of this like just dab it right there and right there oh and just kind of yeah this is very very high coverage guys so And then I have like a really big forehead, so that's just gonna need a little bit more. Try not to squeeze too hard because I don't wanna get too much out. That might have been too much out, so I'm just gonna put the rest on my neck. Okay. So, yeah, I really love this foundation, and I think that it really is like really, really full coverage. I've never really had a foundation be as like full coverage as this foundation is um and you know like i said like it doesn't take a lot like at all i actually used um a dry behind beauty blender to do my face so that's why it took like a little bit longer because it's dry so it's just like i didn't feel like going and wetting it um but yeah i thought that it worked really good Drug down the neck. But yeah, so now I'm going to use the concealer. So the concealer is like, mm, got to be like $10. Yeah, the, ooh, the concealer is $14. So yeah, wow. I mean, that's not wow. Like that's like a, that's like an okay price. Like that's a good price. 
I just thought that they would be um, a little bit cheaper um, just because of the fact that like um, they're Juvie's Place. But I mean like that's still really really good and it's just a good formula. The concealer though for me anyway um, it creases really really fast compared to my Age Rewind which is what I use like all the time. Um, by Maybelline and so for this to be like two times the price but not you know do better than that one I just don't know about that but I think that maybe once I try the um, setting powder because the setting powder is new so once I try the setting powder um, with this I think that maybe then I won't crease as much because like it's what's meant for it you know what I mean like some brands like you have to use their specific products um, to make their other products work well and some brands like their foundations won't work with their own concealers and stuff like that which that's really weird too so Okay. Listen, don't ask me what my purpose was of that little behind dot on my forehead. I don't know what Lindsay thought she was doing, like what she thought that was going to brighten. Just, just ignore that dodge. <laughs> okay. So I want to set this really, really quickly before it creases. So again, like I really, really, really hope that I don't crease. You guys, I don't care about packaging. I only like to like keep it for videos and stuff. And then once I record for you guys, I just kind of throw it away. But, ooh, this is cute. This is, like, what the top looks like. It's really, really pretty. The price on the powder is probably around, like, $14, too. Um, I remember being, like, $10, maybe a little over $10. Okay, it's $12. So, the powder was $12. So, I got the shade White Sands, which just got some, like, pretty fair. Um... I think this is like the lightest shade, so and then I gotta pick this little thing out. So it's gonna take a second with these little press on nails. I don't know if I've told you guys that or not, but these are press on nails that I've had on um, in my past two videos. Yeah. I'm just gonna. So I'm going to use this big old bre bl blender and I'm going to set under here. And the same thing on this side. And then the forehead. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to just set the whole face with this powder. that I like it a lot okay 
so that is all of the Juvia's face base that I have that they've came out with this far. Like, I think they came out with all of those, like, this month, last month. So, I'm really, really excited that I got to do this video today. I've been wanting to do a video for so long, but been putting it off. I'm really, really sorry. But, yeah, so I'm happy that I finally got to do it. I'm really happy with how the skin looks. I'm going to get off of camera, finish my face makeup, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back. And then I'm going to let you guys know how I like the powder and the concealer and foundation and how it played with everything else. Hey, guys. So, I feel like the powder actually really, really... It really made my makeup application speed up, like the blending process, it really did speed it up. Now I am seeing right here that the creasing is starting a little bit, it is starting a little bit. So I would say that the concealer is the only thing that I'd be like, mm, for my under eyes, at least I probably wouldn't use it for that. But the rest of the face, I really like the shade, I like it together. Maybe I should have told you guys which shades I used. I'll just put that in the description box um but yeah um I just feel like that the concealer is really creasing me maybe I'm tripping maybe it does this with my other one too um I asked my mom about it she said the same thing she said that like it looks the same so I guess I am tripping I don't know I feel like no one knows your face though like you do so I do think that the age rewind one is better and it's seven dollars well this one is like 14 so I do I would just recommend not getting this particular concealer but I mean maybe I used it the wrong way I don't know I used it with this powder and it's foundation I used it with the toll you know everything but I don't know so yeah but I really love the powder like this is the newest thing that they've came out with I really really love this I feel like my face like everything blended really really nicely on it and um that's just how I feel also the foundation like it feels really nice it's not too heavy even though it is like full coverage so I really like that too that's another reason I never really got into the whole like full coverage thing because I always thought like well I don't want to feel like cakey so yeah I really really like this I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye and then um yeah I'm just gonna like say bye but yeah I really really love that love that and I loved basically everything that I used today I really really enjoyed um most of all the palette though like the palette was really 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 nice I think I'll put white in my inner corner but yeah I really really loved everything that I tried and um I don't know, it just feels good when you try things and you loved everything. Even, like, the concealer, I do like how it looks, like, on my skin everywhere else that I did use it. I even like how it does look, I mean, it didn't, it's just, it's crazy. Like, I want to kiss Juvia's butt because I love Juvia's place a lot. But I want to be honest, and I do think that the concealer does crease me. But, I mean, I haven't really heard anyone else say that, but, like, that's just how I feel about it. So, yeah. But, I'm looking for my little pencil brush. Take her right again, that dark teal shade. Place that there. I feel like if I don't look like do this step, I feel weird like with colorful eye looks. Like I feel like you kind of have to add like the same kind of shades like on the bottom. Or you just kind of look a little off. But that's just my opinion. So I use this little pencil brush for that. And then I'm just going to use the more puffy one. Like one like this. And take that art shade again. And just buff it under there. Also guys, my BoxyCharm just came um, for this month. So I will be doing another boxy charm. Maybe I'll try to do that video like 
next week on Monday or something. I don't know. But hopefully I can do this, like, post this one by this weekend. Or at least, like I said, like, maybe, like, by Monday. But, yeah. Um, I'll try. So, yeah. That, this is the final look. I hope that you guys really, really liked it. Um, and, yeah. I really liked everything that I tried. My, my big, big recommendation, though, is this palette. Like... How could you not love this palette? Like, if you don't love color, then, like, yeah, this is not the palette for you. But if you love color, like, this is just, like, this is it, sis. And, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, if you guys have anything that you guys would like to see me rec uh, review or just, like, just a video idea, then just, like, let me know. But thank you for watching. Bye.